with any type of person that you love and that you enjoy to be around and all of that, it's still not okay to be addicted. You need to know when to let the person breathe and have their own time and you having your time by yourself with yourself. I will give them like all of my time and as soon as they were gone, it was hard for me to detach because my time was all poured into these people. So I didn't know what to do. Like, what can I do by myself? Like what? No, like it was hard. Do I not care? The only way to know is to come back to me. Hello everybody, Willis JC here, aka Neji, and we're back with another video. So today we're gonna have a big conversation, okay? A big, big topic to talk about because I feel like it affects most of us when like we're young, especially when we're young, it affects us and some people overcome that and learn how to master that. And some people never learn how to master that. They don't know why they feel a certain type of way about this situation. They don't know how to react, how to change themselves, how to stop being the same way and it's being clingy. And by the topic of this video, you guys can see what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about how to master detachment. And you know what? It's gonna be how to not even get attached in the first place if you don't put yourself in situations to not be attached then you already protect yourself you already protect your energy if you're already in this situation it's still gonna help you what I'm gonna talk to you about today it's still gonna help you because you're gonna be aware about something that you weren't aware about it's okay to be attached to people okay in life you know you meet people you like them you adore them you meet friends you meet family you meet boyfriends you meet husbands but with any type of person that you love and that you enjoy to be around and all of that, it's still not okay to be addicted to the person, <laughs> okay? It's still not okay to not know how to give them space. You need to know when to let the person breathe and have their own time and you having your time by yourself with yourself. And I don't know, for some reason, we just all get caught up in this, this little bubble that this person is kind of ours and we don't want to let go of that person. And let me tell you, it's all because of this chemical reaction that we have in our brain. Personally, me, I was always the type of person to, you know, get attached. I could get attached like really, not quick, not quick. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I was never the type of woman to get attached too quick. That's the thing. It would be hard to get me. It would actually be hard for a person to get my attention. But the thing is that as soon as I will start liking the person and really liking the person, like really enjoying that person's presence, and I'm mostly talking about like boyfriends, not friendships, because friendships, I kind of know how to let friendship like have their own space, you know? I don't consider friends as mine, you know? I know that they can be really, really close to me. I can consider some friends like my sisters sometimes. It happened like back then a lot that I would consider, and still now I have like a friend that I consider as my sister, but I will still give them space. For me, with friendship, it's not hard for me to give people space. But when it came to like having a boyfriend, it wasn't hard for me to give them space. It was just like, now that I like you, I want to be there all the time and I wouldn't give myself time to do my own personal things I would want to be always around this person consistently okay and by having some experience that happened to me like breakups and friendship that even died I kind of had to learn how to master detachment and I think it's especially because of the fact that it's so hard to get my attention I don't even want to brag, but like it's so hard to get my attention, okay? That when you finally get it, I'm like, oh my God, that person might be so special. I really start to really, really adore this person, cherish this person, give this person this and that and this and that. And all of my time when, how are you going to give somebody all of your time when your life needs your time too? Your personal life needs your time. Your personal business that you want to do needs your time. Your personal activities that you probably didn't find, you need to focus on that to find what you really like, your goals, this and that. But if you're pouring all of your time into somebody else, when are you gonna give yourself this resource that you need to, to grow in life, okay? And it's actually kind of really important to do that. I had to learn how to detach myself, especially also by having classes, psychology classes in college, really helped me to know that it is all due to chemical reaction that your brain your brain has. It is called oxytocin and dopamine. These, let me tell you, it looks like nothing like just saying it like that, but 
it really affects your brain okay it'll make you even think that you like somebody that you probably even don't like so it is important to be aware that oh my gosh if i'm falling too fast too fast just like that like a quick of a second just because he said fucking hi <laughs> slow, slow down mama it's not real it is due to the oxytocin and dopamine that is created in your brain this feeling of being so vulnerable this feeling to like somebody so much this feeling to be so comfortable it's so satisfying it's a feeling that's so satisfying that you get sort of like addicted to it and it's the brain doing that and by me having like this psychology classes it made me be like aware of these chemical reactions and i was like oh hold up hold up that's that's why you 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 kind of you kind of like them too much and when they leave it's hard for you to detach that was the hard part for me to detach it was not to not let the per yeah i would i would, I would kind of not let the person <laughs> breathe because i would all, always be there and the thing with me is that these people it's not like they were like okay leave me alone no is then it's just that I will give them like all of my time and as soon as they were gone it was hard for me to detach because my time was all poured into these people so I didn't know what to do like what can I do by myself like what no like it was hard and I know that a lot of people experience that too but I'm telling you it's all in the brain so once you know that I'm telling you I can get over situations like that now like that of course there's some people that are really close to you and it will take longer for you to get over it but by me just being aware of that still and by me having mastered this detachment from people girl okay and sometimes you can't even help it when it happens you know for example when certain people do the hot and cold on you okay you met somebody you really like him and he's doing the hot and cold on you one time he's all about you he's all into you he wants to see you every day and rah, 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 and then all of a sudden he goes silent you don't see him no more it's hard to reach him he ghosts ghosts you like they're completely gone that can affect that side of the brain okay you can start to feel really overwhelmed you can start questioning yourself because you can't help that like why why is that person like you know not talking to me no more like what the, what did i do you question yourself it's normal it's human nature to want to understand and have answers we want to have answers to certain things that are going on in our lives we want to have answers over whatsoever we want to understand and when we don't have this answer to our question we get to like you know wonder a lot and by wondering a lot we, we start to like you know some people start to even beg the person to even give them an answer and sadly some are never gonna give you any type of answers some people just wanted to to leave just leave they wanted to have a good time and just leave and let me tell you by you begging by you being clingy by you trying to reach them all the time is not even gonna make the person want to get back to you come back to you none of that it's gonna make the person go even further from you and wants to pull back even further because now he's like why isn't she giving me time but if you're taking the situation as you know you're not giving them the satisfaction that they need you know because some of them are doing like this technique it's kind of a technique to do the hot and cold and see if you're gonna come and like you know trying to reach them trying to call them and whatever and that gives them like a satisfaction like mm, she feels me i'm talking like vice versa by the way throughout all this video i'm gonna talk mostly like you're gonna hear me say like a she he whatever but it, i'm a woman so mostly i'm gonna i'm gonna say he 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 um but you know it helps in both ways whether you're a man whether you're a woman it, it, it affects both genders it's human nature to have this chemical reaction in your brain okay so as i was saying you want the answers you know you want to understand why this is going on and if you start calling this person you know not letting them breathe when they are the one that decided that they didn't they, they didn't want to talk to you no more then that should be their problem and not yours okay let let, let you have a break oh you don't want to talk to me no more well i have more time to do this that this and that let me focus on myself since i was giving you time well i have this full time to myself now it's their problem that they wanted to leave okay it's theirs not yours baby girl and let me just tell you by you wanting to reach them that much as i was saying earlier it's just gonna push them further away because you know they're gonna be like as i was saying earlier oh my gosh she's all about me she's all about me. oh my god it makes them want to pull back because a man's nature usually okay they're chasers okay they like to chase 
And if you're doing all the chasing and they just have to sit back and not do anything, it's not that in interesting to them anymore because you're doing all the work. They do not need to do any type of thing to get you anymore. You're, you're, you're all about them when they are the one that decided to leave you. And that's gonna like work in their brain too. Like I left this woman and she's not even bitter about it. I'm not saying to be bitter, but like, damn, you kind of ghosted me and I'm still trying to reach you. Like, do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's kind of as if you were putting that person on a pedestal. And sometimes you don't even know that person like that. You're just so hurt because you want answers and I understand that. But don't, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Listen to me, now that you're watching this channel, I'm here to help you. Don't give them the satisfaction that they want. And let me just tell you also, by you acting this way and not being too clingy about the situation and trying to reach a person that much, by you just having this calm self-awareness of your brain and by you just being simple and not worrying and you know, not even reaching that person, you know, not even questioning that person. Okay, he left, he ghosted you, and he he was thinking, oh, you were gonna ask him, like, oh, what's going on? I don't hear from you anymore. You don't even do that. What do you think it's gonna do to him? He's just gonna be like, she's she's not, she doesn't care. Hmm. Hmm. Do I do I not care? The only way to know is to come back to me. They are the one that wanted to ghost you, and you didn't even even question that behavior. Now they're the one questioning your behavior. And it's more attractive. Like, damn. She don't care. <laughs> Is she talking to somebody else? And another way to not get attached in the first place, okay? Um, I'll say that it's the talking stage. You know when you're trying to get to know somebody and, you know, they're trying to get to know you, you're trying to get to know them. I am not for that, personally. I don't do that and I never did that. I never was a person to meet people online. You know, I never had like these type of website and there's nothing wrong with having that. If you think that that's the way you can meet up with people and you feel like you're more comfortable meeting up with people like that, okay. It's just not my top. And a lot of women also just don't want to do that. They're just not interested in that. So I never, I never had like, um, you know, meeting up websites online online dating apps and stuff like that. Yeah, I never had these. But some people have that. But I do have Instagram, I do have Snapchats and stuff like that. And some people are gonna reach you on these still. So it's kind of like a dating app kind of <laughs> at this point too. So some of them are gonna reach you and be like, start to talk to you every day. Don't do that. Don't do that. Protect your energy. You don't want to get attached too soon. You haven't even met the person in real life and you're talking to this person every day. You're giving this person all of your time. You're talking to them, trying to know how they're doing. You're being on the phone with that person and that, you know what it does? That gets you to be attached automatically without you even knowing because you're going to start wondering about this person when they don't text you. Oh my God, he didn't text you today. What, why? You know, we talk, every, we talk every day and you haven't even met that person in real life and you're already getting attached. And sometimes it's even going to get you to be attached with that person even too soon because, you know, it's probably the only person you're talking to. Um, you give them all of your time. You know, they call you every day. So the everyday talking with a person you never met before, don't do it. Okay. Because what is going to happen, okay, you can never meet that person in real life at all, okay, that person just wanted to have like a companion, a phone companion, and when you're asking to see them, they kind of don't want to see you at all, okay, that's how the catfish thing happens sometimes, and you know, most of the time, what they're going to be saying is that, you know, they want to get to know you before meeting you, how, 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 like, <laughs> how, let me tell you, we can talk every now and then and then try to meet me in real life. How are you going to get to know me virtually? Even when you meet people in real life, sometimes you don't even know as much as you should know because they'll keep a lot of things to themselves as they should because they don't really know you. But still, you get to know the person in real life. You get to see what you like. You get to see what you don't like. Imagine you, you never get to see him. You already give that person all of your time and you haven't even met that person in real life or other scenario that can happen. You meet them in real life and they're nothing, nothing, nothing like they were online. And what's going to lead you to do? It's going to lead you to just, you know, give that person still a chance because you like them online. Shit, like, I don't know, it must be something about this person. And in real life, you wouldn't even have gave that person a chance. Okay, I wanna meet up with you because I wanna get to know you better. That makes more sense than I wanna get to know you better through, you know, text, through, um, not even FaceTime. Sometimes they don't even wanna meet you FaceTime. <laughs> like, 
you don't even know how that person looks you know in real life you know you need to know if that if you're gonna be attracted to that person physically emotionally mentally you need to see if there's that connection and virtually they can fake a lot of things you know a woman can fake so much virtually too honey okay you need to meet her you need to see that there is a connection in real life you need to see if you're comfortable with that person to see if there's going to be a long run with that person you know um that i'm talking if you want a relationship if you just want a, a virtual companion do 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 your thing a third scenario that can happen is if you meet them in real life and you actually really like them that's good great but still don't give them all of your time until you have met the person and then go slow some people want to go fast and it works for them okay great but i always suggest to go slowly when you first started to talk to somebody like giving yourself time to know if that person has everything that you want also of course you're selecting baby girl and that's the other thing i wanted to talk about like you're selecting when you're dating i don't want to hear it i don't even want to hear people say oh you're dating a bunch of people blah, blah. no i am selecting I am interviewing yeah, yeah yeah you heard me word. I am interviewing I am selecting I'm having fun nobody said we're yeah so the camera got caught up so let's fix ourselves a little bit so as I was saying nobody said <laughs> nobody said we're having sex nobody said that you're you're fucking with this that nobody said that you're doing all of that dating doesn't mean you are in a relationship Dating means dating. We need to be aware of that, okay? Listen to me closely. Dating means you're meeting up with people, trying to get to know someone. You're just dating and seeing where that can lead you guys. It doesn't mean you're in a relationship. No, two different scenarios, two different things, two different topics. Dating is dating, relationship is relationship relationship you need to be committed to one person dating you can see what what fits you the best okay what 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 is good for you so you're being selective okay and that person is probably being selective too if he's not well goddamn because you probably are going to choose somebody else and he's going to be heartbroken he needs to be selective too and that's going to help you to not get attached too soon because when your time and all your devotion and all of your your energy is being poured into one person then your brain automatically just thinks about this one individual even when you don't like somebody when you give them and pour all of your time into these people you kind of kind of end up liking them like oh I, I might see yeah we might, we might work also another technique i think that's like the third technique that i'm giving out to not get attached too soon is by not revealing too much of yourself too soon you know like i don't know if you've been like in an abusive relationship before and you just met that person you're in a restaurant and you're talking about this abusing relationship that you've been and it's not really always good because you never know the intention of this person the intention that he has in the back of his head don't talk about it too soon with people they should work to get any type of like details personal details about you they should work for that it shouldn't be something that you just give out to people like that if they have bad intention and you revealed something that you know triggers something in their mind like oh i'm gonna do the same to her okay she seems easy and you haven't even really worked on yourself to be strong enough emotionally strong enough you're gonna dive into that same abusive toxic relationship because you revealed something some men knows how to see when they can play with a woman's mind so don't reveal too much to protect yourself and also of course it's going to uh, help you to not get attached too soon because when you reveal yourself too much to someone you kind of feel this connection because you share something with that person already you, you share something that was so personal to you that was that was so sincere about you so you feel attached because like damn that person knows this about me like i like him and he didn't judge me he didn't this and then you automatically feel so attached and to protect you to be it too attached slow down okay mama so as i mentioned in this video it is entirely possible to like somebody that you don't like <laughs> because of these chemical reactions and it is just important to be aware of them so this was the Relish JC aka Neji here and I am really happy that you guys decided to tune in to this video my video is about to die my camera is about to die okay so I'm, I'm trying to talk really fast I don't know if you guys noticed but I try to talk really fast in the end of the video so I'm really happy you guys decided to tune in don't forget to like comment and subscribe and more videos are to come I love you guys Mwah.